today. Today we're going to be making some super cool indicators and strategies. We're going to be back testing them in TradingView, making them in Horizon AI. We've got some ICT stuff, some SMC. I think we make some market structure, order blocks, liquidity grabs. And we got like an FX scanner we made at one point. Super cool stuff. So if you don't know what Horizon AI is, it's like a ChatGPT tool. So it's like an AI like ChatGPT except it knows TradingView um, and it knows PineScript. So it's specifically built for trading and TradingView and TradingView's coding language, which is PineScript. So when you go to Horizon AI and like ask some, you know, code market structure, code this, code that, um, Horizon AI actually knows what you're talking about. It actually makes the code, actually does no errors. Um, and it just works really well. So we're going to be using that today and making all these sorts of cool things. So let's just jump into it. So it is, it's free to sign up, so if you go to the website link in the description, sign up for free, you end up on the screen here, which is like basically the main screen of the app. On the left hand side over here, you have like the token usage, um, so free users get like a limited amount of tokens per day, but you can try it out and it resets every day. Here's where like all your previous scripts are. When you sign up too, you, have, um, you get access to the script library, which is basically a whole library of preset scripts you could just use right now and get the source code for. So you get the source code for any of these things like right now. So these were just added in the other day. You can build like FX scanners or just scanners in general, SMT divergences. You've got all these other scripts here. You could just click on them right now, get the source code and start working with them if you like. So you get that when you sign up as well. So we recap this page, we've got like just the main chatting area over here on the left hand side. So this is where all the chat uh, messages go. You can upload images and whatnot down here. And on the right hand side here, this is where we have the Horizon editor or like the code editor. So this is where Horizon AI will spit out its code. You'll like, um, it, this is where it'll like modify its code. And once it's finished, you just grab and copy the code from here, paste into TradingView and you're good to go. So that's like a brief rundown. Let's just like, I'll show you quickly like what it it's like. So we could just click on this code a MACD strategy and we'll, I'll show you what it basically does. So it's thinking about it, it starts thinking, you can see the message here. Cool. And then once it's done, you see that um, whenever it updates the code over here, you get a, like a message over here. It just told us, yeah, we here's the script. So it enters long when the MACD line crosses above the signal line, blah, blah, blah. And this is the code. So you could just copy this code, head to trading view, open up new indicator down here in the pine editor, just do new script, paste it in, I just click add a chart. And oh yeah, it's a strategy. So boom, we've got a MACD strategy. Okay. Just like that. Um, you know, it's not the best. Oh, that's a, some GG on the 30 minutes. So pretty cool. Super basic. Let's do another new script and let's start something a little bit more advanced. I was thinking for maybe a strategy we could use um, just two basic indicators we're going to use the market structure indicator here that's a preset and then we're going to take maybe um, some sort of trending indicator like an EMA and we're just going to basically the idea is we're going to buy the dip in a trending market so if price is above the 200 EMA and then we do a bullish change of character we're going to buy and then it's going to be just the reverse for sell so we're going to basically yeah if price is under the 200 EMA we're going to sell if we get a bear change of character the idea is like we're going to basically try and r ride the trend so that's our idea the first thing we need to do to get the best results at our highs and is just break the idea up into little digestible parts so we have a whole little concept we have a whole concept basically we're just going to break it up we've got two components which is the market structure and the ema we're just going to ask those separately and we're just going to build it up together from like one step at a time essentially so we'll start off with the market structure Okay, so it's done the market structure. So we could copy this and just paste it in at the very beginning, like right now, just to make sure this part is correct. So that looks perfect. We've got basic break of structure and change of character. Works, looks pretty good. So we're going to go back to Horizon AI. We're going to just leave everything like this. And we're just going to simply add now the second component to our whole strategy, which is basically just add the EMA. So again, we're just breaking this larger concept down that I initially explained into just smaller digestible parts. Part one, code the market structure. Part two, we're going to add the EMA. Part three, we'll put it all together to create the final, to create the final uh, strategy. Cool. So it's finished. You could already kind of see uh, just visually 
So if price is below the EMA, which would it be here, and then we get a change of character that's bearish, we would take the sell. Uh, we would take the sell. If it's above, we would take you know this buy here, whether it's successful or not. That's just the rules. And uh, yeah, so that's that's so let's let's actually turn it into a strategy and backtest it. Cool. So that's the last part. Turn this into a strategy. We want to buy when price is above. So basically, just how I explained it at the beginning. So it's just finished up. So let's copy the code and then we're going to update on the chart. And cool, just like that, we've all got a back test. So we've got uh, trading just fine. So we could take a look and see, like you can see maybe it takes a sell here and it doesn't actually close out the position. It looks like we're still in the position. So maybe we need to add some basic uh, like stop loss and take profit targets. Let's quickly go do that. We've added in a take profit and stop loss with like a ratio of two for the default. Let's just go see if see what it did. Paste it in. Straight away we could see uh, like this is fixed now. We're taking taking a sell and then uh, like exiting it down here. Or so and then we could just you know you could flip through some um, some pairs. So some pairs like this um, you could change the settings uh, if you go to properties here. Change quantity. Uh, change it to the percentage risk instead of uh, the lot size and then we could see some of these euro pairs as well so it's not looking that great for these but very cool all right let's go back and make something else an asian session range like breakout uh strategy so let's let's play with that so i'm just going to click this we'll make again so the overall idea is we're going to make an asian session I guess range and then we're going to buy the high, sell the low, turn it into a strategy. But we're going to break that whole idea into little small little parts that the Horizon AI can like digest it. So the first step is just let's just make the range. And then we'll check that on the trading view chart like before, make sure the range is actually there and working. Then we keep progressing until we're like finished. So it's already done the Asian range. Let's copy that. Uh let's just we'll just get rid of this indicator. It's so easy to make these these days. It's not even doesn't even matter. Update on the chart. All right. Oh, we have a range. Cool. So we have we have indeed a range. We have one range. I guess it removes all the other ranges. That's fine. So like yeah. So maybe the idea is. Um, you know when the range ends we could put like a sell stop here when it gets triggered we could like sell and maybe um, like maybe again do like an Asian breakout let's give it a try so yeah we've got the range already there I just said yeah turn this into a strategy make it buy the break of the Asian session high and then um, and then sell the low again I was like um, you know be a bit specific about what you're saying um, you know if you just go like turn this into a strategy um, you know there's a thousand ways you, you could turn an Asian session range into a strategy like you got to be a bit more specific we'll just wait for this to finish oh cool let's copy it Before we start looking at the echo curve, let's just make sure it's doing it. So yeah, I mean, there we go. It did literally sell at the bottom like that. We're literally just saying that. Um, it's not showing the older ranges on the chart. Maybe we need to ask Horizon to make sure we do that. Or it doesn't look like it's actually closing. You see, we like pull along. I don't know if there's like a stop loss here, but there's definitely like not a TP. And then we just went short right at the top. So yeah, the strategy is not complete. So we come back and once again, we could be like, add some TP make um, add like a TP add stop loss basically polish it up a little bit I just finished up and we just pasted it in and it does look like it's working now so you could see that like this perfect example here it buys as the breakout and then it sells it also sells at the beginning of the next session as well automatically so it does not hold the position through the next session um, you can see here it buys and then immediate closes here uh, sells holds it to the end and uh, yeah, here's some back tests. We could even do like uh, crypto. Changing the time frame. 
Ch change of the time frame works pretty well. Yeah, fun. Let's go make something else. All right, something else that's really cool that I just added in uh, this week actually is building a scanner. Um, so you can actually build scanners in TradingView. Um, so essentially like scans, uh, like any symbols, um, I believe you could have up to like, you could have quite a lot actually, I think up to like 40 symbols. And you could have like, you could have it looking through different uh, like indicators on these symbols. So essentially you don't even have to check these, um, uh, like the symbols manually yourself. So building a scan is something cool. We could just, I would build like a super basic one. Um, again, in the script library I showed you at the beginning, you could download like this MACD one. Um, and MACD is just like an example, a basic example used, but we could, um, let's just build like a basic, uh, like EMA, uh, Forex scanner. And I'll just like show you like basically how it does it. And but that's going to be our scanner. You just tell it what pairs you want. I did the FS major, um, FX majors. And then we're just going to scan for the daily, uh, 200 EMA on the FX majors. And then just simply print out like if the price is above or below the EMA. So again, super basic. Um, super basic scanner, but it just gives you an idea like you could build scanners for anything. So, uh, it's all finished up. So, that's the code here. Let's copy it, come back to trading view. Let's just paste it right over the top. Who cares? Add a chart, and boom. So, you can see straight away it's added like a table down here in the bottom corner. We've got our, uh, it's got five. Um, FX majors and then it just like simply tells you if price is above the EMA or below the EMA. Super cool, super easy. Just another thing that Horizon AI can do. Last strategy we're going to build. My idea is basically we're going to build something more complex than the previous ones. We're going to build, again, it's going to be kind of like a trending uh, strategy type idea. It's going to be capturing the trend. Few components. First component you can see here is we're going to first get a higher time frame order block. Uh, so we're going to code a high time frame order block indicator. First thing that we're going to do, so say we're on the like 15 minute chart, we're going to look and wait till price is inside a four hour order block. And then once price is inside that four hour order block, we're again the we're going to then look for say like a liquidity grab um, uh, to take like a buy or sell. So so for example, if price is inside a bullish four hour order block, we look for like a liquidity grab to the downside and then price to uh, like displace to the upside and then we're going to try and buy. So let me just show you what I mean. So first of all, we're going to break this down into like smaller parts again, just like we did with the other ones. So first thing is just, we're going to just start off just with the order block indicator. Simply just make a higher time frame order block indicator. All right, so we pasted it in, we'll update on the chart. We'll just make sure the order blocks actually show up cool there's a lot of them they're stacking over there I guess that's just that's fine that's fine for now but basic premise is there right again we could tweak this I'm just gonna speed run this last one um, so this video is not too long here's it on the hourly let's actually make sure it's high time frame because it's all the oh yeah here time frame let's yeah do four hour like we said here we go so basically like this is my idea, like where price is inside this four hour order block here. And then we're gonna look for some like liquidity grabs where, where it like takes our liquidity to the downside and then we like go up to the upside. That's like kind of like, that's like what we're looking for. You know, something exactly like this. You can see prices in it. This big candle like takes out these lows, grabs liquidity and then goes back up to the upside. So let's add in liquidity grabs now. Like add liquidity grabs and then we could stop putting them together properly once they're all on the script. Cool, so I've just, yeah, pasted in uh, the new code. We can see straight away now we've got, I mean, look at this. So we have, yeah, the order box already. Now we have um, bear, like we have sweeps of liquidity up high and low, so perfect. Exactly. Again, if you wanted to get more specific with how you wanted to identify your sweeps, um, it just takes like effort. You're gonna sit down and actually like explain it to it. Um, you know, I was pretty vague again, just for the sake of this video. Like something like this, if you're like, oh, this counts as a liquidity sweep. Um, all you gotta do is just sit down and be like, so what? 
makes this different to this and then just explain it to it just like you would to another person. Uh, for the sake of this video, this, um, these, these sweeps look fine. I mean, you can see here that that looks perfect and that's perfectly inside our order block. Our order block started here on the four hour um, and then it's done a sweep in the hourly um, and then th this would have been a beautiful buy. This is exactly like the type of idea we're looking for. So now that we have the two indicators um, to build up our strategy, we've got the order blocks and the liquidity. We've got the two indicators um, inside the same script. We just want to uh, put these indicators together to create the actual strategy. So let's go back to Horizon and uh, do that. All right, so I just said, yeah, please make this a strategy for buys. Price must be inside a bullish order block, just like we described, and then we must get a liquidity sweep of the lows. That's that's pretty much our buy um, end criteria. And then I just said the opposite for sells. Um, and then I just be sure to add in the make sure there's a TP and stop loss. All right, let's copy it, paste it in, update it on the chart. Boom, buy signal right in the sweet spot. Doesn't look like it takes very many trades, uh, but you can see, I mean, again, so you can see price it goes inside the order block, it sweeps, and then buys, sells right at the top here. And it works, it works pretty well for just, uh, you know, an idea we just hacked together within like five minutes. Can run through some of the pairs here. Uh, so it looks really strong on um, dollar yen here. Again, this is like perfect right here. Like what it's, this is pretty much exactly what we're looking for. So price comes into an order block. Again, this is a four hour order block. And then we get that sweep here. So it puts in a pivot low, sweeps it. As soon as it sweeps it, we buy, um, and then perfect. Look at that beautiful runner. I don't even know where it closes that sell out, so we might need to uh, continue tweaking that. <laughs> it just holds it forever. Oh, here we go. It sells right at the top here. Um, so again, we could add in like we'll see in the settings actually. Did the horizon add anything? Oh yeah, take profit percentages. We could play around with these values, 0.5 and one. Just have a look. Closed it off here now. Let's check a look at the strategy now. Cool, beautiful. That's a beautiful like weed curve. All right, maybe we just leave things like that. So we've made a bunch of strategies. I've shown you the platform. Um, yeah, it's super fun. If you guys aren't making strategies with Horizon Eye, you are definitely missing out. We're in a new era where you don't need to be a programmer. It's super easy to just turn any idea into a testable strategy, and then you could just deploy it straight away. Um, it's ridiculously easy. Again, Horizon AI, it's completely free to sign up. All the links in the, are in the description. I've got a Discord if you want to join and hang out. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. I'll catch you around. Thank you.